Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ford here from Ford's Tool Reviews. This is another little DIY project. And I think I know what I'm going to get at Harbor Freight next time I go. I'm going to get a new set of back wheels for this mower. This is a Craftsman uh, push mower. It's pretty old. It's about 8 years old. We just replaced uh, the drive cable on this we're getting ready to replace this underside right here we're gonna fix we're gonna take this and completely replace it because for some reason it will start run and it won't shut off unless you finagle with it so I'm also going to invest some money and get some back tires for this mower at some point these are supposed to be reversible I these tires are pretty much shot they're not worth using anymore these tires are probably good for another year I just say it'd be easier just to get some better ones on the backs of on the back tire or uh, on the back excuse me um, but this is working fine now from what I know I don't know, it's like it wants to work sometimes and then sometimes it doesn't want to work. Which is confusing to me. The drive shaft on this mower is fixed. We put a brand new cable on it. Now, this mower is not our primary mower. The red one you saw earlier is our primary mower. <clears throat> but, it is self-propelled, and this is one of the things I like about this mower, and one of the few things, actually, I like about this mower is that it is self-propelled. I can go ahead and replace the spark plug on this riding mower because I am not starting it. So that can be replaced. Um, you can see how old this darn thing is. Spark plug eventually is going to need to be changed out. I almost got so mad at this thing. We've replaced the primer bulb, the filter. Uh, we've sharpened the blade. Finally, the blade was the blade was so sharp. I think it was the wind that was actually cutting the grass, not the blade. Um, <clears throat> zip tied the cables back on with brand new zip ties the old ones were yellow and gross and they were gray One, some were yellow some were gray uh, craftsman mowers aren't really that bad it's just you gotta keep the blade sharp and unfortunately for me I'm not very good at keeping up with this thing it's not my mower it's borrowed but you can see where we sharpen the blade, which is exactly what we need. That's what we need is a sharp blade. Not too sharp, not razor sharp, but we need it sharp. So, uh, yeah, it's not that bad. The drive shaft on this thing, when you pull this and you push these two friction plates together, that works now. This was faulty. If I had about a half a th of a five hundred dollars, I'd replace the entire linkage on this mower. And the new part that we ordered for this push mower should be in by tomorrow. And if I can get permission from the owner, because I'm not the owner of the mower, we might film it. He gave me permission to film the mower. And there are obviously quite a few more parts that I want to replace on this especially the back tires they need to be replaced pretty bad and the only thing holding these on is a 9 16th nut and fortunately I've got the socket set to do this with <coughs> I actually have two of them three of them excuse me and uh Four of them actually. Wow, I have four socket sets. I almost have five. But anyway, there you go. 
that's our one of our mowers yeah we need to get a new back wheel for this this is the OEM back wheel and this thing has been on here since the mower was bought new so I'm gonna get online tonight and see if I can look up some new wheels for this mower see if I can't get some new wheels for this thing where it'll actually grab the ground like it should properly because this right now it's grabbing the ground it's just slipping these wheels are cracking they're old I think we should just keep them as spares and put some new back wheels on I can get these at Harbor Freight really cheap these are basically the front these are actually the OEM uh, drive shaft wheels uh, that came on this mower and like I said before I don't hate this but I also would like it to have a little bit more grip and not not immediately but soon I'd like to get they sell an accessory for this mower that gives you a side discharge I would like to get that accessory if possible <laughs> either that or drill two holes and fabricate one in and the reason is this is great because it's self-propelled the only thing that upsets me greatly about this lawnmower is that I can't discharge high grass um, if you're gonna give me a self-propelled mower and it doesn't have side discharge or at least a bagging system you're pretty much lost me there because you don't necessarily want to mulch grass where I live it's not a good idea so I'm trying to show you guys the uh, piece of wood that I got yesterday so this is the log that got delivered yesterday there's a piece of pipe And uh, there's the log, and you guys can see I already came over here with an axe. I have ripped jeans on because I'm out working. I know, OSHA violation. I'm going to get so many comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on my own land, so I can do what I want. But, and I'm not wearing steel toe boots, so what? Cry, cry, whine, whine. Anyway, um... I'm in the process of cutting this. I don't want to use the chainsaw necessarily on this piece of wood because I want to hack it apart before I get the chainsaw in there. Uh, I do plan on using a chainsaw for this, just not right now. So, kind of give you guys a little update of what's been going on. There's the bucket for any of you guys who've been wondering about that. Yeah, it's starting to rust. I've got a little bit of hardware in it right now. And, um, of course, the plank or the pieces that I've attached have held up exponentially. So, I did find my metal rod, and I think I know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to stick one side of this into the metal here to kind of hoist it, drill a hole right here, through here, and uh, bend it so it'll stay still. I ended up taking the other piece off and I'm just going to leave it like this because I don't really work out here that much and I'm actually going to upgrade because I've got quite a few logs. I want to go with more of a rustic look. So I'm going to take a chainsaw and see if I can cut these in half. I have a couple of logs. I have a log right here. I have a log right here that needs to be used. And the sheet pan. And then I have this log. And there's the old, for those of you guys who are wondering, there's the old cowling for the old for the mower over there it got broken 
it was old. And then this right here I'm going to eventually fabricate into natural wood that I can use on this project and screw it back on with wood screws. I just wasn't really pleased with the, um, the metal. I think I could use that sheet pan for something else, like a shelf. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys have a little bit of an update. I'm not going to take this off the tree though because, <coughs> excuse me, I need this part right here. And this shelving unit is not coming off. I need that part as well. Otherwise, this thing has been very solid. It's been very sturdy. But like I said, I just couldn't, you know, I can't use the regular wood for this part if I do have a problem. If this thing does break, I want to have a little bit of, excuse me, I want to have a little bit of a fallback in case of an emergency with it. Again, it's not the best build, but yeah. Anyway. Now I would start the mower up for you guys, but here's the problem. Again, we're going by a piece of electrical equipment that's running right now. Sounds like an air conditioner, and you're right. It is an air conditioner. But I'm definitely going to need to get some new tires for this thing. Some new wheels, I mean. It's just, the fronts are fine. I don't know what the heck kind of wheel we got for this. This is the old front wheels, and we had some wheels that got ruined. And, uh, and she starts up fine once we get the new part on her for the... Um, turn on and off oh wait no that's the yeah once we get the new shut off valve shut off the valve excuse me darn it not valve once we get the new shut off cable linkage on this thing although it doesn't seem to be misbehaving now which is kind of weird And it shuts off, so we can still use it, but I'm not going to use it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for the bad camera quality. Hopefully we get this thing fixed tomorrow. Although, I still would like to take these bolts off of here and take a look at the exhaust manifold on this thing. On this little Briggs & Stratton 6 horsepower engine. Because I want to take a look and see if we can get these nuts replaced with newer ones. Probably ones that are Dura-coated. <clears throat> Sooner or later, I'm just... When I get this mower, I'm just throwing it away. Because it's just not... We're putting new parts on an old push mower and I just can't... I just don't want to do it anymore. I'd rather just get a Ryobi push mower and just be done with it. Slap a battery in and mow yard and then be done. Anyway, guys. This is what I'm stuck with for right now, anyway. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to, please hit the subscribe button. If not, no big deal. Um, I'm not going to beg for support. And... Uh, one thing I should mention real quick before I end the video, though, this cowling, this is called a cowling, it's a top of the mower. This is used, and we couldn't get a new one. One of the things I'm thinking of doing is getting some silver paint and touching up this paint on this thing. Not to make it pretty, but at least to make it look better. And yes, I know this is colored orange, and it's supposed to be black. It's orange for a reason. It actually is about due for a respray. Uh, the reason it's painted orange is because we had lost the original gas cap, then found it. But I just don't want to lose the gas cap again. And we actually are getting ready to spray the other gas cap that is the same on ours, orange. And yeah, or I think we did. We need to respray these. 
I'd like to get these plastic dipped on the outside orange or yellow or something bright and vibrant. And if you guys are wondering, we've had this mower for a while. It's just been in such rough shape that we haven't showed it on here <clears throat> at all. Because the, the cowling was broken. Uh, the cables weren't working very good. I'm oh, sorry, very well, excuse me. Uh, pieces were gone off of it. Pieces were old and rotted. Uh, she's an old mower, but she's a good one. This engine actually is very good for its age. The new cowling doesn't mean it's a new engine. We just replaced the plastic part. But anyway, it's not a bad mower. And we did sharpen the blade. So, which, wow, this thing needed, let me tell you, this thing needed a sharpening. But, um, yeah, I don't want to waste any more time with you guys on the video. Uh, we didn't do very many other mods to it. Like I said before, these tires are the next things that get replaced. I keep calling them tires. I know they're wheels, but they have uh, hard rubber, so I call them tires. These are going to be the next things that get replaced. And I'm going to see if Harbor Freight actually carries a set of tires that we can use to replace this with because this just doesn't look very good at, well at all it doesn't look good at all so yeah thank you guys so much for watching support my channel if you would like to if not that's totally fine don't worry YouTube I'm not begging for support uh, but this is a nice little repair project that we did. And in case you guys are wondering, yes, this thing runs, but trying to get it to stop again is sometimes challenging, which is why we need the new shutoff cable. So I will not be doing a startup in this video. I'm sorry. We did, we fixed it, sort of, but we're going to replace the cable anyway because it's, it's springing back like it should. It's just not consistently doing it. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to, support the channel. If not, uh, that's okay. It's free country. This is America. You guys can do what you want. If you want to hit the dislike button, go ahead. I know Craftsman's not very reliable. But I honestly haven't had a problem with this mower other than the blade getting too dull when I'm mowing tall, thick grass. And uh, I should probably check the oil in this thing, though, because I haven't done that in a while. But uh, if you're wondering on one of these real quick, the oil on this thing is right here. Yeah, I'd say we probably need to check it. This oil probably needs to be changed. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like I said before in the video, support and uh, keep on fixing, I guess. Peace.